Okay, I just got these done literally about five minutes ago. Uh, these are the black ones. Uh, these are these are rock and roll knives. I'm not kidding. Uh, they came out so freaking nice. It's unbelievable. Uh, this is an old school eight that is real, real close to the uh, eights that I used to make when I was working with the SAS. And uh, the funny thing is, I just got off the phone with uh, a friend. I would just come back from Edinburgh and the old crew had assembled for a get together and sure enough they were talking about the CQC 8s and the, and the Emerson knives and all that and I said I'm, I'm looking at one right now as we speak on the phone. Uh, it's funny how the how synchronicity seems to happen again and again. It certainly happens for us but this this is an old school uh, CQC 8. It does have the wave. I didn't originally make the wave for the for the lads but uh, this is a this is a real real vintage knife, came out real good. Uh, here's here's a cooler than cool knife. You talk about a rock and roller. This is the black on black on black Roadhouse, and I mean it is it is bad to the bone. There's no question about that. It's got black checkered micarta, black titanium, black blade, chisel ground, killer. Journeyman, real, real special knife. Uh, we've been doing a lot of these for very, very special group. We'll leave it at that. And uh, this is a black on black on black. Uh, another one that's just, it's bad to the bone. Like I said, uh, I'm so pleased with how these turned out. Uh, and, I, and I'm real pleased with the Journeyman because it's such a great knife overall. But this one's, this one's unique and special. And then, got another CQC 45 here. Uh, done up just like a gun with uh, just like your gun would be black or blue uh, with the walnut handles and it's a deep deep checkered walnut handle against that black it's killer looking uh, I think John Browning would have been proud of me if he if he had this knife when he was doing his gun so uh, and I'm not kidding I really do think so because uh, this really does epitomize in a knife the feelings that I think John had when he was building his 1911 so Again, this is a stunning knife. I'm so happy with them. Uh, you guys are going to love them. So, Merry Christmas.